It's good to have you join us on Eyewitness Report on Channels Television, where your photos or videos make marks, draw attention, and bring about the much desired change in ways you might not have thought of. Today, we'll bring you the many challenges of a once upon a time fishing community in Barriga, Lagos. Also, we'll take a look at the aftermath of the Lagos gas explosion. Are there lessons to learn? These and more form part of today's package of Eyewitness Report. Join us. I am Chris Elams. Agoigu is a waterfront community in Bariga, Lagos. The situation in the community appears to be deteriorating as the men can no longer go fishing due to dredging activities in Owarunshoki. Now, this coupled with a lack of basic amenities tells a not too pleasant story. Join us. Welcome to Agoigu community in the Bariga area of Lagos State. The people here are primarily fishermen, an occupation that has suffered a lot of setbacks lately due to dredging activities around the Owarunshoki area of Lagos State. The riverbank, which used to be a takeoff point for them, is drying up and impacting fishing activities adversely and by extension, their economic life. Tell so so, ishe ta ni bi ni ishe pipa eja beti are lo mi mu awon mala lo wa nta mi fun wa bi ti won gbe wa ta fun wa yen a o mo boya mi e mo boya buru ni o a wa o mo a kon ra mu ni so ki joba kon ran wa lowo fun o mi many of the children here are out of school often helping their mothers with drying and selling of fish <laughs> The only school in the neighborhood is a mission school, which runs on charitable support. According to an administrator of the school, even getting the children to come to school is a tug of war. Before the arrival of the school, they don't have a school in the community, but by the time the school started, the children started coming in gradually, small, small, so they are improving. And uh, inside the community, the numbers of children that are coming to school, they are getting, they are reducing. The reason why they are not coming to school is because of the money. Their parents, they want them to be in the school, but they don't want to, there's no money for them. They don't have money to pay for the children. So that's uh, something. So right now, um, do they pay school fees and uh, the teachers, how do you also get them? The children are paying school fees, they are paying small money. We are just collecting, talking from them. But it's very, very difficult for the children, for the parents to avoid the money. It's because we normally call the PTA, we call them, we sit together, we talk together. By the time we finish the meeting, they will just tell us that uh, there will be improvement. But at the end, we will not see any changes. So they just want them to be in the school. So they want somebody that will be assisting them in helping the children. The very poor Agoigo community, which has been further impoverished by the lack of fishing activities, risks of neglect and non-availability of infrastructure and other social amenities such as toilets, thereby exposing the people further to the risk of diseases.
The plight of this community in the city of aquatic splendor is quite loud and reflective in their living conditions. Even the children here have made these woods their beds. Only a handful of women are still engaged in smoking fish. <laughs> <laughs> Others have gone into different trades. Which include tailoring and hair making. Since the men can no longer go fishing, they now resort to buying from the market before smoking. I go a good woman. They are not even living an average life. So when you say somebody is not living an average life, so definitely she's not up to standard. She knows she cannot. She's not. Up to, she's not up to anything. So one, they don't have good. They, they don't have good work. They are, they, they, most of them are not doing anything. They just sit at home. If, since there's no money for them to do business, and the, some of, most of their children don't go to school. As you can see, during the school period, you see their children roaming about because there's no money to send them to school. And their husbands, too, are supposed to be doing farming. They are supposed to be doing fishery. But the water there is condemned. They cannot go for fishery. So their life is below average. So we would, we would be, uh, appreciate if the government can really intervene in their, in their cases. The young people here are often idle and seen moving about in groups for lack of economic activities. This is creating an imminent threat to surrounding communities as this could also become a breeding ground for criminal elements. Life here is very, very somber, very poor to me because as I am, I always go out very well because this life we are living here is very poor. You can see this family now. This is where they are living with their children, with wives. So when the time of race is in now, it's very, very terrible. They can't able to sleep. Why? Because of floods, rain. You know, rain, during the rain season now, anybody cannot work here. Here will be flooded. up. Young boys around here, we really need, we also need help. You know, the only way we have in this community is fiction. We don't have any other thing again. If anybody can empower us, can raise us to do anything, we can do it. Because the only one way we have here is fishing. And the fishing, we can no longer fish again because there is a project some months ago, everywhere was filled up with mud. So there is no way to come, we can move out. Our canoe cannot move out. If you can follow, can view, I can, you can follow me now, you can really show you the, how the place is, how it's very filled up with no water, but we, we live in closer to water because that is how we, from our forefather, from our forefather, we live closer to water. So anybody can empower we youth in this community will be very, very good. The concerns of the Agoigun community is currently being shouldered by different non-governmental organizations and individuals who feel unless this threat is dealt with, we might just as well forget about a peaceful city. The rate at which uh, we have criminal activities in this community is high. And if we not do something in order to curb um, gang prevention, substance abuse, and even um, several vices because the youth are jobless, they don't have any vocation they are doing. And most of them that they are even fishing because the waterways is blocked, they, are not, they don't have um, any job right now. So there's nothing they can do apart from to like resort to any <laughs> forms of um, survivor. And that's right, we all need to like um, be at our feet to help those people. Otherwise, when we stay in our high brow places, we'll be visited by some of these, by these criminals if we do not actually rise up to do something immediately. Currently, one of them has started the One Bariga Woman Project to empower some of the women in the community and get them back to being busy rather than staying idle. She would want to see others reach out to this Bariga community. 
And we look at this woman, the business they're doing is so little, but at the same time, they are using to support their family. So I feel that if we can actually come out to help these people, even with as little as 20,000, 30,000, 50, 100,000, it will go a long way to ensure the daily survival of the people living in this community. Especially, at least, you will be so guaranteed that the, children, the, the mothers will be able to take care of their children. You know, and I just want to encourage everybody to please come and help the people in this community because with a, with um with a, my involvement with the um with the people in the with the women, I realized that what they actually need is not much. So if we can come, at least different calling on different NGOs, the government and the good spirit individual to come and help the women in this community, because when we empower the women, the children will be safe and we have happy families and definitely the, the community will be developed. The challenges of our Goegun community cannot be brushed aside as being trivial. The state government and, as a matter of fact, every Ligusian must work towards fixing these people and putting an end to their dilemma.